Just another survivor like sort of thing. Uh, ew. Four five. Gotta get that proper circular movement for optimal King Bible DPS. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not that movement doesn't matter at all, but There's definitely less to it than a lot of other games. The emphasis isn't on the mechanics so much as the emphasis is already on the decision making. Uh, it's either Crawler or Fang. Let's go Crawler, Crawler. Do this. And deployment. Let me get the music going. The music is so slow. Please? Please? YouTube music? Let me try restarting YouTube music. Really slow. I don't know why it is so slow. Okay, anyway, what is happening in this combat? Are we getting destroyed? We're getting a little destroyed. Unfortunate. Maybe we can steal this tower? And by steal this tower, I mean not have the tower. Nope. The crawlers got me. Well, not the worst. They impact drill turn one? You're probably like melting point sledgehammer. Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure it's not, but. It's a thing in 1v1. How bad could it be in free for all? Green is using crawlers. They've got the crawlers double teched already. Double teched crawlers on turn two with the crawler avatar. They are a true believer. So Wraith for blue. This Mustang for green. Melting point for red. We get this one at least. Crawler Stang army not dealing with the Wraith. I was kind of surprised Red took the melting point. Detect crawlers right next to him. I figured it was going to be Wraith, 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 and I was going to be the only one taking the melter.
speeds back. I want range here. I can make a couple more sludges. These sludges are definitely not steel balls. There being a melting point here, going sludge cheese is going to be harder too. This is probably the last of the sludges. Start making more melters and more chaff next turn. Why is my music so quiet? Green is quick supply, yeah. Still only double teched. Red made their second melter already. Multi beamed? What is happening? What a weird game. Green made hackers? Kinda rich. Did get two hackers. This is the game we get subsidized steel ball. I don't think I'm making enough melters that I want senior manufacturing. the other melter over here. It's probably fine to just beacon. So the outside crawlers. I just want to start making fangs. I could go like fang, rhino drop, pulp up. Or we could level sludge. I do kind of want to level sludges. We're probably going to tech these. Level the rhino down. Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> eh, we'll want to fang there eventually. It's fine. Crawlers almost killed that. There were not that many crawlers there. Oh, 
think Boon's... We need both clear and stuff that shoots up. Some fangs. We intend to shield these eventually. Take the tower buffs now. I don't like being biased to the side. It's level eight wasps. I might not be able to kill these. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Good thing that I bias towards that side. I did not realize how big that pool was. Walking all the way to the tower instead of... Okay. See more and more people trying that one side only stuff. Do you? I feel like it fell off pretty hard over the last month or so. Maybe barrier in the mass crawler melting point doesn't make sense. But like, I don't want to grab mech rage because then typhoons run ahead of the rest of my army. We don't need air spec. We could do missiles, but missiles also aren't great into crawlers. Like, barrier is not great, but I think you do want to get attack on your three squads of level two typhoons. Barrier does represent a good amount of health, even if it's not great in the other players. boss kill. Wait, is green adding melting points?
Did we win this? Oh yeah. I would take the wasps. I don't really want the wasps into super aerial spec. I think I'm still taking it. So I can put them all the way in the back, maybe. Shield one of these turns. <laughs> one of these turns. Get loaned for the tower buffs. Phoenixes, red took the phoenixes. Oh, is there a Vulcan card? I guess blue took the Vulcan card. So good to pay a hundred level chaff. Depends on the chaff. I don't know. We've got field maintenance already. Do you have EM? Well, no boss to worry about. Shield now. Pretty sure these are gonna get cleared. I don't think I'm worried about fighting the melters from cross map, so I think I'm actually beaconing towards the boss. Because I don't want to fight the marksmen from cross map. If this was like fortresses or death knells, I would maybe beacon the other way. But the Vulcan boss is just so free to kill. Is 
also a very bad beacon angle. Go go wasps, I guess. Get a little further back. Where are the beacons going? Red's just continuing to one side green. I would expect blue to beacon into me after what I did to the last round. Eh, just a mild beacon. Okay. Oh no, they are beaconing away. Okay. I'm pretty sure we clear. but it was a pretty bad clear. Ugh. Hmm. Melters and a couple typhoons and the overlords get out. Wasps kill this tower again, okay. <laughs> Some of the fangs survive, I think. Yeah. Stormcrawlers will clean those up. Ew. Hopefully red wins or green wins small. Let's actually get the other way. I want to kill the leveled stangs with the ion blast. Okay, now we're getting beaconed into a bubble for orbital protection. Uh, I mean, the fortress just pops the bubble. It doesn't really work when you've got the boss. Also, what's orbital really doing to us? Just knock shields off our fangs. Damages our field maintenance sledges. Not a huge deal. We 
aimed the ion beam correctly. Killing all these type of, these uh Mustangs though. Be too upset with that. It was a good boss for the Ion Blast, but still a rough boss overall. You just lost too much to the forts. Maybe you did something else to respect the Stangs. Like, we really just have the Typhoons, I guess, Overlords that can kill Stangs. We have Sludge Hammers, but those aren't real units.